hello and welcome to the channel. I am back with some functioning futons. Two ideas. So I was building something and I stumbled on how to do it and I thought I would share. So what you're doing here is at the back you just put one tile wide, raise it up by I believe it was four, just so it just covers the back there and you can put anything you like on the top. I'm pulling over the, you can't pull it all the way under the bed, you have to do it in sections or else it raises the bed up, which you don't want to happen because the whole thing is to get the bed to sink into the platform. So this works with any bed, uh, some look better than others, but you can essentially turn any of the beds into a working futon. And I'm just giving you a couple of ideas on how to how to use it. So this was just a simple idea I came up with, a little closet next to um, the Japanese inspired bedroom. I'm using these suitcases which are side tables, having a bit of problem placing them but <laughs> I get there in the end. It's sort of like up down, up down, up down and I just put clutter on the shelves. But the whole idea is, what you do is you pop the bed onto one strip of platform and then you put the platform over, under that. You've got to be careful not to make the bed jump up because then of course it won't, it won't be a futon. <laughs> Right, so what I do then is I half close this using um, the railings from Eco, Eco Lifestyle. And to do that, I just draw, drew a wall section and then placed the railings there and then deleted the wall section. And it gives a really nice little effect. Well, I think it does. Nice little effect. And I kept the room really simple because it's just more to show you how to do it and give you a couple of ideas how it can be used and what it looks like when it's in use. Okay, so in a moment I bring in my little test sim and I get her to show you what it looks like. Unfortunately, their little feet do sink into the platform when they stand up but or sit down on the bed. But it's only for a second and if you just avert your eyes it's not too offensive but it works really nicely and I think she's coming in in a moment yes she is she's gonna come in, in a moment I could have done it all with base game stuff but I wanted the room to look nice so here she is and you can see she can into the bed she gets and it works just like a bed and there she goes. You can see how her feet sink, but as soon as she moves, it's fine. And here we are on to idea two. This isn't using a platform to hide the headboard. I just use the sign from Dine Out rather than the platform at the back. So I just use the sign, but we're still doing the same by bringing in the platform, as you can see. And when you put down platforms, you have to redraw the walls, which is a little annoying. Oh, and always check your ceiling because it does delete some of the ceiling sections. It does, and you have to replace some of the ceiling. So here I'm using somewhat the same idea with the slats, but just to create a room up the top. And, um, they're just ideas how to implement using the futons into a room. I will get there eventually, <laughs> slowly but surely. So I'm going to bring it in. I'm using the same bed because it suits the style that I'm decorating in, but you really can do it with any bed. I tried a couple of base game ones, even, I mean, all of, all of the beds it works with because it just sinks them in. It just sinks them down. So here I am trying to get this all right. I couldn't work out the colors or the design, but I knew that I needed, um, I've showed my friend Kodo and he said, do, do you have a dark version of the room? And I was like, oh no, but I could have. So I made a dark version as well. 
but it's good because it shows you two different ways of implementing it. So you can use a platform behind as a shelf to hide the headboard or you can use this sign which illuminates slightly at night. It's really nice for a headboard and it's in the dine out pack. So here I am just giving you ideas on decorating. That's using stuff from the, um, I always call it the mosquito bag the machino pack. And, <clears throat> sorry, I have a frog in my throat. I always have a frog in my throat when I do these. Because half the time I never know what I'm going to say, so I just waffle, waffle away. I changed my mind a couple of times because I just want it to look quite uh, modern, light and inviting. Um, that's the sideboard from Eco Lifestyle and I like to use it and I turn it around so only the back shows. And it's just nice, it's just a simpler version rather than having the books on display. So all little decorating ideas for you. And as I said, there's no CC, there's no mods. I didn't use tool and I love tool. So <laughs> no tool, no nothing. It's just using platforms. Oh, this is a neat trick if you want to place things onto the top of things and to position them correctly. Use the pole that comes in toddlers. I was uh, shown that by Oxford Splice and it's just a really, really, really cool little trick to use. I like it a lot. So I'm just decorating in here, trying to make it look uh, nicer. What you will notice is that when you place carpets on platforms, sometimes you have to raise them up. Sometimes they'll pop into place, other times they don't. And you have to raise them up which will you'll see in a moment with this I had to do it but it's all coming together the way I wanted the room to slowly but surely <laughs> I seem to say a lot I do don't I, I do say it a lot but I wanted to um, I was really surprised I was building a a traditional uh, lodge to go on the top of Mount Kumarabi and I stumbled on how to do this when I was doing the futon there. I was like, oh goodness. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on it. And I hope it helps. If you have any questions or, you know, feel free to, to ask. Okay, this is it working. I'm gonna hop out, speak soon, bye.